Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Huck. Today I'm doing something a little bit different for my channel because I wanted to talk about a movie today, which is The King. Um, and it's a movie that I recently watched on Netflix and it's an adaptation of the play Henry V by Shakespeare. And after watching it, I got a little bit obsessed with it. I've watched it multiple times in the last like few weeks since I first watched it. Um, and I've talked about it a little bit on my Instagram stories. I mentioned it in my most recent book haul because I also bought and read the original play to compare to the movie um, and I've been trying to convince pretty much everybody that I know that they should watch this movie because I loved it uh, and then I was like you know who else I could try to convince to watch this everyone who watches me on YouTube so that's what this video is I want to talk to you about what this movie is about and just what I really enjoyed about it um, so this is, as I said, an adaptation of the play Henry V. So at the beginning of the movie, we are following Prince Hal, who is estranged from his father, the king, and has purposefully distanced himself because he does not agree with the way his father is running the country. He doesn't agree with um, many of his father's actions, but especially the way that he handles war. He believes that the current king is engaging in too many wars and is wasting the lives of their people. Um, and so he doesn't want to be a part of it, he doesn't want to enable it, and so he kind of has distanced himself. And while doing so, he's kind of fallen in with a disreputable crowd, been partying a lot, and the country kind of sees him as the family screw-up. And the king now favors Prince Hal's younger brother um, and wants the younger brother to inherit. But through a series of events, Prince Hal does end up inheriting the throne and becoming King Henry V, um, at which point he is not really, he feels like he's not really prepared to be king because he had never intended to be, he had wanted to remain distant from the throne. Um, but now he is having to kind of come to terms with who he's going to be as a king and what kind of changes he is going to make um, when the kind of king he wants to be conflicts with what his advisors believe the country needs. Um, he's also facing some threats from other countries and internal politics as well that he's trying to navigate as a new king, um, especially deciding whether or not he's going to go to war with France. So. Some of the things that I loved about this movie. First of all, I want to talk about Timothy Chalamet and his acting. I just, I enjoy Timothy Chalamet just as an actor. I like seeing him in movies. I've seen him in Lady Bird and in Little Women, and I always enjoy him, but I've never been like specifically impressed with his acting. Like, I think he's a good actor, but I've never thought about it that closely. But while watching him in The King, I was like very impressed. I was blown away with his acting ability. His acting is so good in this movie and it's worth watching just for that. I loved watching just the little changes in expression in his face throughout the movie. It was incredible. Um, also, not really relevant, but Timothy Chalamet can pull off a bowl cut. It's a rare talent and I don't know how he does it because very few people can look good in a bowl cut, but he does it. Something else that I really loved about this movie that I was very surprised I even noticed, let alone enjoyed, were the fight scenes and the battle scenes. I am not a fight scene or battle scene kind of person. Most of the time I don't care. I kind of zone out and I just go like, my thought is just tell me who's dead at the end and who's still alive. The in-between part, I don't care. Just like, I just need the end results of the battle. But these fight scenes and battle scenes were so good. They were so they felt so real and so visceral. They didn't feel overly choreographed the way a lot of other fight scenes feel. I think a lot of it was because it wasn't like trying to make the people who were in the fight or in the battle, it wasn't trying to make them look cool. Um, I've seen so many fight scenes and battle scenes where it looks so choreographed and it looks almost like a dance and while they can be like really fun to watch and really like epic looking they don't feel very realistic because you can tell how choreographed it is whereas these ones felt much more real and much more like gritty and visceral in that way that they were not trying to look cool or make the people who were fighting look cool and I loved the battle scenes and the fight scenes in this movie. 
After having read the original play and being able to compare it to the movie, I really liked how some of the creative license that they took, some of the changes that they made and interpretations that they made um, with this movie in comparison to the original play. Um, one of the changes that they made was that they did include the character Falstaff. In the original play, Falstaff dies at the very beginning, I believe, whereas in this one, Falstaff is included throughout the movie um, and Falstaff is essentially like King, King Henry V's like best friend in this movie and I think including this character in the movie adds a, another layer of humanity or just humanizes Hal in another way um, because it is this character that he trusts and this touch point for him that connects him to his past and his more idealistic self when there are times that he may become corrupted. Um, and Falstaff almost acts as that touch point, acts as almost like his conscience to connect him to that idealistic self that he had at the beginning. Um, so I really liked the inclusion of Falstaff's character. I liked his character in and of itself, um, but I think it also added a really good, interesting element to the character of King Henry V. But I think the thing that I loved the most and the thing that made me really get so invested in this movie is the way that they have changed the character of King Henry V himself um, because his motivation is different from in the original play. In this movie he's actually a very peaceful person, he wants peace for his country, he's very even-tempered, he doesn't want to you know be involved in wars, that's why he originally became estranged from his family, um, it was because he didn't agree with the way his father was running the country, he didn't agree with you know, involving the country in either internal or external wars, and he thought that they should be peaceful, and that's the kind of king he wants to be. Um, whereas in the original play, he's not an especially peaceful person, he's much more warlike and much more into the idea of like starting wars and getting glory and all of that. So overall, the events of the movie are pretty much the same as in the original play, but the motivation behind them has changed. And I think it's that change in the motivation that made me so excited about this movie, because I think it made King Henry V a much more interesting character. It made the whole character and story much more compelling and also a little more tragic um, because the play is not meant to be tragic, it's much more triumphant for King Henry V. Um, but this movie, the, that change in his motivation and some other like, some other changes that I don't want to say for spoiler reasons does give it a bit more of a tragic feel and I just found this character to be so much more compelling. Um, I absolutely loved this movie, as I've said. Now, I don't want to like overhype it and say, like I'm not saying it's perfect. There were a few things that I think maybe could have been better, but overall I absolutely adored it. Um, really, my biggest complaint was that I thought it was too short. It's like a two and a half hour movie. I, I would have watched another like two hours or more of this movie. I just wanted more time with this character. I wanted to know more in depth like what he was going through. So obviously I really adored this movie. If you're looking for something to watch while you're self-isolating, I think this is a great one to watch. Uh, I'm probably going to be watching it multiple times. Again, I've already watched it multiple times. I'm probably gonna keep watching it. So that is all for my, I don't know, not really a review, but my rant about The King. Thank you all for watching and until next time, bye.